up, Madden 25 Gamers? I hope you guys have been enjoying this week's Scheme of the Week out of the Miami Dolphins Offensive Playbook. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite formations. And because we use the doubles flex wing and, and, and the way we use all of our formations together, it's going to allow us to now have uh, a really good... Um, uh, a really good X Factor formation in my eyes, and uh, we're going to be looking at the. Uh, let me see. We're going to be looking at the empty base. Um, we already uh, we've already tackled the trips tight end. I'm not going to. It's redundant to keep going over that formation every week. Um, but the empty base, I really like this package. Uh, we can use this uh, to our advantage here. So uh, we're just going to RB sub in our guys where they should be. So Carlson should be there, and Rudolph should be over here. And Freeman should be there. Okay, so the base play uh, that we're going to be going over, and, and you guys have to come out in this formation to get to this play. Um, the play is inside wheels. And it gets man coverage. Uh, you don't really have to do anything to this play. Uh, what I like to do, though, is I like to put Carlson on a slant. Um, but anyway, uh, your first read on this play is going to be R1. And against um, man coverage or, co or uh, zone blitz, he's going to be open. So... It's just a quick, a quick one-step snap, go, read, and it's just immediately the ball's out of your hands quick. I really like that about this play, and uh, it's a really good route against man, and we're going to use it to exploit it. So that's man. Uh, let's take a look at our second read. Second read is going to be uh, Carlson on a slant. You see it's also going to do a good job of beating man coverage, um, obviously, there if he doesn't drop it, but... You know, it's just it's going to be doing a good job against main coverage. And then our third read is going to be triangle. Uh, when he lights up, that's Adrian Peterson. He does a really good job of getting space as well against man coverage. And, what I mean, this play is just a, a crushing blow to man coverage in general. Um, fourth read is going to be Rudolph. Pass lead him to the inside. Um, obviously, you know, you won't, you won't have to go to him if they're blitzing, but... Um, this is just showing you an example, maybe coverage defense or something, and you see pass lead to the inside. He's going to be able to beat man. And then the last read, and this is why I really like this play because it just beats everything. This play is a really tough play to stop. Um, against coverage defense, Greg Jennings' route is going to be wide open with a pass lead to the inside. Pass lead to the inside, click on, make sure you make the catch, and it's going to be able to beat man and zone coverages, uh, coverage defense. All right, so that's that play. Next play I want to go over is the – we only, I only run uh, two other plays here. Uh, we have stick, but I don't really use it. Um, we have verticals. I don't really use that either. <laughs> but I do use stick and nod. What I like to do with stick and nod is I like to create a curl flat to the left side. So I'll put Rudolph on a smart routed out route, and I'll put Peterson on a, a flat. And then I'll put Jennings on a comeback, okay? And basically what we're going to do is – uh, our first read is going to be Peterson. If they're in a zone blitz, we'll be able to beat them with Peterson. And that's just going to be how we like to use that. That's how I like to use that route. Um, if that's not open, then we're going to look to Rudolph. Uh, so in a situation where they're off, uh, especially when they're off coverage, they may be cover three. Well, the flat's not open this time, but Peter, uh, Rudolph is open, so we're going to be able to hit him. So that's the first two reads, one, two, and we're already beating a lot of coverages. Okay? So there's that read, and then if they're in a cover two or something like that, then we're going to go to our third read. Our third read is going to be the stick and nod route uh, with a pass lead up, and a lot of times it's going to do a good job splitting the safeties in cover two uh, and just getting in a very tender spot. But really what it does really well is it beats man-to-man -man coverage, uh, and that's what I love about this play. Every route beats man almost, uh, and you see here, uh, pass lead to the inside, and you're going to be able to beat man. All right, our next read on this play is going to be the, uh, let's see, where's he at? It's going to be RB's route, uh, and this is a long developing route. It's really only going to be used against man. Uh, it, it actually beats all the zones. It, it's like a drag that beats man. Just pass lead to the inside, and it's just a quick five-yard route uh, that come underneath the, the deep route, the deep stick and nod route. And then our last read, um, is especially for man situations, just in case we everything goes wrong, we can either use your catch's comeback or we can just pass lead it to the outside and uh, get a nice animation like that. So that's the the stick and nod play. Let's hop into the smash. Smash is very simple. We're just going to put both outside receivers on smoke screens, and we're going to put um, Carlson here. We're going to put him on a streak. 
So this is the smash concept. We all know how much we, it's effective this year. Against zone blitzes, you're going to be able to just hit your quick smoke screens and take your five, six yards, and it's just a very difficult play to stop. A lot of times, guys, the, the corner routes, when you're playing, especially when you're playing good players, they, the corner routes will be will not be open, but the smoke screens will. So just be sure to make sure you're at least looking there. Just if they're, And if they're open, don't be afraid to take them. They're so annoying. Uh, six yards here, six yards there, you're going to walk right up and down your opponent. If, however, they are covered in, in situations like cover three, cover two, stuff like that, uh, in a cover three situation, that means that these corner routes are going to get pressed, and that's going to throw off the timing. If they get pressed, those smoke screen routes will still be open. Uh, a lot of people forget that they're there uh, just because they want to hit those corners, but be sure to be... Um, be sure you're being safe. They get pressed, immediately throw to the smoke screen. That's, again, another five, six, seven, eight yards. Uh, and the, it's just such a natty play. So they're going to have to call cover two eventually because cover four, cover if they're calling cover four or cover three uh, with the press, it's, it's just going it's, it's to you're gonna beat them with those quick passes. And now they're going to say, okay, well, I'm going to gamble third and three on a cover two, and you're going to make the right read, pass lead up on RB's corner route, and crush it. And you see there, that's what we really like. Okay, and then the next thing I want to show you on this is how they beat man. So, um, Carlson's route will not beat man coverage. Uh, I do know that. Streaks don't beat man as well as they did last year. But, the corner routes beat man uh, pass lead down into the outside, and it's just going to get a back shoulder animation against man. Now, um, sometimes, uh, as you saw there, one of the things that I really don't like um, happens is when the smoke screens get pressed and two men under. So what I like to do to prevent that is I'll motion in Greg Jennings uh, two steps. That way he doesn't get pressed, and that way there's a lot more space to throw that RB route um, against man. So you can't do it on the left side, but you can do it on the right side, so you'll take advantage of it. At least have it to one side of the field and um, you know definitely be able to beat some man-to-man -man and some zone blitzes. So, the guys, that's the smash play. That's the five-wide mini scheme uh, out of this. And just be sure to keep mixing in uh, different different route combinations it's very difficult to stop five wide receiver sets this game uh in this game especially uh with all the other stuff we're doing but don't make sure you're not make sure you're going through progressions and if there's a guy in position don't throw it because sometimes five wide can be your best friend or your worst enemy depending on how you read your progressions and how you go through your uh reads so guys be sure to add this five wide to your playbook and start winning more games in the second half now. Be sure to come out in this sometimes just to throw your opponent a different look and be sure to check out the rest of the defensive scheme uh, this afternoon and then make sure to come back for the full gameplay to see how I like to use these plays in-game. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you guys next week.